Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Disney History Minute with Keith Gluck, on location from our car this time. The topic of this episode is Song of the South, as requested by That Camille Ann. Let's get started. The Disney film Song of the South is based on Joel Chandler Harris's Uncle Remus stories, which themselves were tales adapted from African American folklore. The film, a mixture of live action and animation, premiered on November 12, 1946. The story takes place in the American South during the period after the Civil War known as the Reconstruction Era. Uncle Remus, played wonderfully by James Baskett, befriends a troubled young boy named Johnny, played by Bobby Driscoll. The animated scenes introduce many viewers to the characters of Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear. Music played a huge role in the film and could be heard throughout most of its runtime. In fact, South was nominated for two Academy Awards, both for music. It lost in Best Score, but it won Best Original Song for Zippity Doo Dah. Baskett also won an honorary Oscar for his absolutely charming portrayal of Uncle Remus. Now, unfortunately, the film was mired in controversy from the beginning, and Walt himself sat out its premiere, upset by some of their premature reactions to the film. The Disney company re-released South a few more times in the following decades, but locked it in the vault and threw away the key after its 1986 theatrical run. To this day, Disney CEO Bob Iger is asked when it will see an official re-release, and he reiterates as long as it's up to him, never. Song of the South did go on, however, to provide the backstory for a little attraction you may have heard of, Splash Mountain. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. The next episode will air on Wednesday. And as always, if you have a topic request, please DM me here or on Twitter at Disney Project. Till next time, guys.